LVG needs to GTFO. What's going on, everybody? My name is United Troy. And today we are talking about the United Tottenham game today that has occurred in which United lost 3 0 at White Hart Lane. Now, the game got under to a bad start from the get go because they needed to suspend um, kickoff because United's bus <laughs> was caught in traffic. Why they didn't leave earlier, why they don't have this already sorted out so that they can get to the stadium on time, I don't know. It's a rare occurrence, but still, it's something that the club should the plan for. Has been kept out here by the goalkeeper. So United got caught in traffic, and it probably would have been better for them to have stayed in traffic and just suspend the game because... Today's showing was an absolute shambles. And I'm not even going to say that it was a shambles because of the way we played. I'm saying it's a, it's a shambles because of the way we reacted. Okay? There are a lot of things that go on in a football match. A lot of things can go wrong. A lot of things can go right. Decisions can go either way. You know, some players will simply be better than others. Some players will be more up for it. A lot can happen in a game. When it comes to Man United, we have that Goonies never say die attitude. attitude. We, we have that, we have that keep going the full 90 minutes, you know? It's like, it's like we're winning 6-0 and, we and we're running around as if we haven't scored. That's the United mentality. But it seems this year and pretty much all under LVG, we don't have that fighting mentality because... Even though we start off the game well, and we did, we started off the game well, it was clear that us being late wasn't that big of a deal because we were able to make some moves and put pressure on and everything, which is key, which is key when, you, when you're playing away from home. You have to be able to put pressure on the opponents, make them uncomfortable, quiet the crowd, you know, that's what you want. And that's what happened. You know, we had some chances, but 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 not really clear-cut chances. And the first half came and gone, and I was thinking, eh, it should, it's going to be nil-nil. This has nil-nil written all over it. Because it, it just felt that way. I mean, like, even though United were making good moves, and Tottenham settled into the game and started doing what they do under Pochettino, and, you know, they started making chances themselves, you know, pressing and, and doing their usual thing, it seemed like... This is going to a stalemate. Damian. Stalemate, no problems. Straight stalemate. You know, no, nothing, nothing, nothing really out of the ordinary. Here. Michael Carrick. It's it's a stalemate. It's going to end nil nil most likely, which is which was a shame because you know West Ham and I think Bravo. City was it City? They drew, which was huge. You know, I mean Leicester won, but they're they're going to win the league anyway, so they're so far gone. You know, so, Liverpool, they unfortunately won and everything. But basically, uh, it's at that part of the season, regardless of what your opponents Danny are doing, Rose. you need to win every single game. This is the, the the home stretch. We need to win every single game. These three points were crucial in getting to that top four, getting to maybe top three, and actually achieving something. Damian. <sighs> and we did. We lost 3-0. And it's 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 well, it's, totally, it's, it's totally inexplicable. The no, that's not true. It is explicable because the blame lies fully on LVG. Now I don't blame the players. I mean, some of them were shit, but some of them were good. Look at um, Fosu Menza today, who was probably our best player, all things considered. Probably our best player. This young 18-year-old fullback like that nobody's ever heard of. Song. Great player. Best player on, on, on the pitch for Turning United today. Right that, that's insane that I even say that. But if the kid rises to greatness, great. I'm, I'm, I'm happy. That's what United is about. It's about injecting the youth and, and bringing about players who wouldn't get a shot otherwise. So I got no problems with those men's. I got no right problems out. with them. It's just a shame that he your best player kid. is an 18-year-old kid Just who's only had like one Premier League come. start. That, that, that's that that shouldn't really happen, but anyway. First match, the first half comes and goes. Some good back and Michael forth Carrick. stuff. 
some some good goals here and there, some things going on, but for the most part, a stalemate. It, it seems like a nil-nil every day of the week, not a whole lot to, to change how, you know, things are going. It seems like both evenly matched, which I'm fine with. I, I, I wish we would go for the win, but it seems like we're not, but I wish we would go for the win. And, but, you know, it's away from home against a team who's higher than us in the league. Oh, man, it sucks to say that. It sucks to say that freaking Tottenham are higher than us in the league. <sighs> but anyway, it's, it's simple. It's a simple truth in this point. Simple truth at this point. So, away from home against a team higher than us in the league. A nil-nil draw, not the end of the world. But if only. If only. If only. It, if only. Because it didn't end nil-nil. No, no. Nope. Second half, Manchester it ended 3 nil And I bring up Osu Menza because it seemed like, even though this is the tide of the turn, tide of the game was turning this way anyway, the momentum had shifted to be all Tottenham in the second half anyway. Osu Menza gets hurt, and he was the one clearing the balls and, 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 and keeping up pace with Danny Rose and, and, and really doing doing the ting. You know, he was the one really putting the stamp on the on the game. So, what happens? Well, Fosu Menza gets hurt, he tries to stay on, but it's just not happening, so he has to get substituted for uh, Darmian. Now, I don't think Darmian's a bad player. I think he's perfectly capable of doing what he needs to do. The problem is, there's no real plan B with United, and that was the problem. Immediately as when Fosu Menza comes off, United have like a super high line for some reason. The ball gets shifted over to the left, whips it in. Shift over to the left where, where Darmian has now replaced Fosu Menza, so they immediately tack the, the weak link, as it were. Whips the ball across. Deli Alley puts it in. I think it was Deli Alley. Puts it in 1-0. Now, that sucked. That sucked because now we're 1-0 down. In order to win, we need to score two goals away from home against the team who's playing better than we are, and that's, that's a mountain to climb. But we're united. We can do that. Nope. Like, a second later, they go 2-0 up. Off of some crazy, like some crazy header or whatever, I think. Some crazy header. I think it was, a, I think it was, I think it was all the railed. Yeah, I think it was all the railed, and then it was Deli Alley again because, they, like, some some basic schoolboy defending all of a sudden happens and pff, all the railed heads it in two nil, like mere minutes after we had just conceded one nil, and then, like, a few seconds after that, Tottenham score again. With, I think, Deli Alley yet again. I don't think it was Kane. I think it was Deli Alley. I don't know. At this point, I was so fl frustrated that I could not be bothered to, to deal with who actually was scoring the goals, who was actually killing us. I just knew that we were getting killed. <sighs> so, we go down 1 0, and you could tell that United were just deflated. It, like, the, 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 the thing, the, the stress, the. The, the mentality was, was rickety as it were, you know? The mentality was rickety, rick, rickety as it was before we go down 1-0. But once we go down 1-0, mm, we get absolutely deflated. The mentality goes out the window. It's like, oh, man, what are we going to do? And then they hit us again, 2-0, hit us again, 3-0 game over and it's because there's no plan D and this is where I blame Louis van Gaal there's no plan B for United he has the game plan set up that he thinks is going to work somehow it doesn't and then when they go 1-0 up the team doesn't know how to respond there's no winning mentality anymore there's no fight there's no passion to get back into the game I mean that should be going on from the from the uh, well, kickoff the whistle anyway. Really they should money. be in that mode to win, 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 no matter what. But the they don't. And so when things don't go according to plan, it's like their foundation that they've made just crumbles like sand. It's it's insane what has happened. It's absolutely insane. The You could tell, and that's the biggest problem, you could tell that as soon as they scored, United were done. They, they, they weren't going to get back into it. I knew it. I tried to believe. I tried to, to come on, boys, you can do it. You're Manchester United. Prove yourself. Nope, because they didn't have a plan B, and I blame LVG for that. He doesn't know how to inspire Valencia. the troops. He doesn't know how to change as the game changes to better suit the situation at bay. You know, he, he doesn't know how to do that. So when it shit goes wrong, shit hits the fan, they don't know what to do. That's it. That's it. 
Sure, when things go right, it's great, but... I mean, they don't ever go right, do they? They don't ever go right, do they? Who's a 3-0 to Tottenham? It's insane, man. They only beat us, like, three times in the last, like, 50 years or whatever. Now, all of a sudden, we're getting smashed. It's like... This United is such a ghost of what once was, and it's so depressing to feel. So depressing to see. So... LVG needs to go, and I and and I I I I'm, I'm gonna make a video later this week about who I feel should be the replacement because LVG needs to go this summer. Um, and at this point, I mean, I'll, I'll save that for the next video. I'll save that for the next video. So stick around for that. But it, 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 at this point, it's just it's just LVG needs to go. It's been clear for a while, especially when you know they have other options. So. LVG needs to go. It's just not working. United need to go back to winning ways. David Moyes wouldn't be this bad. And I, it hates, it, I hate to say it, but David Moyes wouldn't... One, he wouldn't be making the mistakes that LVG is making. And two, he... I just don't know. I just don't know. I don't know. It's so depressing that, that this is what happened. So, United are, I think, fifth in the league fourth seems like a mile away such a big mountain to climb i don't know if we'll ever get there i doubt we will i don't i don't think we'll get champions league football or are we six in the league because west ham are, are better than us now i think we're sixth in the league now so it's it's just so depressing i mean if i don't know what's going to happen i really don't it, 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 a lot of things could could come of 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 what came from this game, but it's clear that LVG needs to go. It's clear that we can't do what needs to be done at this stage, and we're barely scraping by, and we're not even doing that anymore. Um, we have Aston Villa next week, the worst team in the league by a country mile. We best beat them. We best smash them like 5-6-0, because otherwise, if we lose to Aston Villa, <laughs> if we even draw to Aston Villa, I mean, they lost like the last 17 games in a row. Oh, man. So it, it'll be interesting to see. It'll be interesting to see what happens in the coming weeks. But this game against Tottenham was just absolute calamity. The men don't have the mentality. We don't have the, the drive, the verve, the... the, the um, we don't have the drive. We don't have the, the very, very mentality. We don't have the strength over, to get back in. We don't have a leader. That's the thing. We don't have a leader, someone to rally the troops. LVG certainly ain't doing it. No other player on the pitch is going to do it. It's just, it's, just, it's just such a shame. It's just such a shame that, that this has gone on. So, I mean, at this point, I'm looking towards next season. I really am. I don't think there's any there's anything, any benefit for us the rest of the seasons it's just going to be more of the same and we need to get a new manager in someone who can actually make changes make the changes needed and i guess we'll we'll figure it out from there but fosu menzo was the best player of the match by far and when he got hurt i mean it was like it was it was immediate as soon as he got hurt and got replaced tottenham ran train um, De Gea made some good saves but the saves that but he couldn't make he's not superman he can't make every single save uh, Martial had some had some great runs, and you know he's definitely a good kid for the future. Why did LVG take off Rashford and put in Young? That I didn't understand at all. Did Rashford get hurt? I don't. I, I didn't see it. You know, all of a sudden Young's in the number nine position. Young's not a number nine. All right. I, I can't. I can't keep doing this anymore, guys. I can't keep doing this anymore. I will end the video here. Hopefully, something comes of the the game against Aston Villa. It better. But right now, United essentially need to just keep doing what they're doing. I get. I don't know. United need to not keep doing what they're doing. They need to do better. That's that's what we need to do. So I mean, props to Tottenham. They did what they needed to do. Props to Tottenham. Um. And, we yeah, LBG needs to go. That's all there's to it. LBG needs to go. <sighs> so, yeah. I'm going to end the video here. I can't I can't be dwelling on this. The video is going to be long enough as it is. So, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Let me know your thoughts on the game in the comments below. Let me know what who you think was the best player, who was the worst player. Let me think 
But let me know who you think should be the next manager of Manchester United this summer. You know, I, I want to know because I need to I need to focus on something positive here. And, and LVG getting the fuck out, that's definitely something positive. So, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Uh, be sure to like it and subscribe so you don't miss any new content. I'm going to talk about who I believe should be the manager to replace LVG later on in the week. So, be sure to stick Five around for that. Go, and and I will see time. you all next time. Bye. Nine. But today, it was kind of like, hey, we're the old United back. Hey, we're getting our chassés going. Yeah, we're doing a dance. We're doing a ting. Yeah.